In this video, I'm going to help you get your brand mentioned more in AI assistants like ChatGPT by optimizing the revenue driving money pages on your website. According to recent studies, shoppers complete purchases 47% faster when assisted by AI. So if your brand isn't mentioned in ChatGPT, Claude, or Google AI mode for relevant searches, you're likely missing out on a ton of traffic and revenue. But it's frustrating because you feel like you're doing everything right. You have a website you're proud of, you've optimized it for search, you're even producing regular content. Still, all of your competitors are showing up in ChatGPT and you're not. The truth is, the way you're prioritizing your SEO efforts may be sabotaging your AI visibility and I want to help you fix it. My name is Matt and I'm an independent growth partner that works with brands to help them increase their visibility and get more traffic, leads, and sales from organic channels. In this video, I'll show you exactly why it's so important that we start at the bottom of the funnel for AI SEO, concrete examples of brands doing this well, and how you can implement things today that will directly impact your chances of getting mentioned in AI search. So there's a bit of a divide happening in the SEO world. On one side, there's a group who believes that getting mentioned in AI assistants like ChatGPT or Google AI mode requires a completely new skill set separate from SEO fundamentals, which they call GEO, AEO, LLMO, or some other acronym. On the other side of this argument are those who believe that while AI assistants have radically changed how users search online, the actual tactics to getting found on these platforms is nothing more than classic tried and true SEO best practices. Full disclosure, this is the camp I'm in. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I have not encountered an AI search visibility tactic that isn't either equally relevant to classic SEO or simply something that we've been doing for years just labeled as a different name. Now, that said, I'm not an unfair man and I do concede at least two things that make AI search different from traditional search. And that's the higher emphasis on diverse off-site brand mentions, which I talk about in several other videos on this channel, and the subject of this video, the importance of lots of robust, comprehensive money pages. And this is a complete reversal of how I and many others were taught to do SEO, for better or for worse. Let's quickly recap the SEO marketing funnel using Surfer as an example. This is really critical to how we do SEO, so bear with me. So at the very top of the funnel, we have our informative content pieces. These are designed to educate and build trust, not to sell. The people finding this content may not even know Surfer, or your brand, exists yet. They're just starting to investigate a pain point or learn about a topic. Dead giveaways for top of funnel content are those inquisitive terms like what, how to, why, types of, and guide to, these are curiosity-driven searches from people just trying to understand something better. For Surfer, a perfect example would be this page. What are seed keywords? Someone searching this doesn't wake up thinking, I need an SEO tool. No, they're just trying to figure out what the heck seed keywords even are, which Tom comprehensively answers in this guide. No hard sell, just value and education. Now moving down to the middle of the funnel, we hit what I call the persuasion pages. These are for people who know they have a problem and are actively comparing solutions. They're past the what is this phase and into the what is the best option for me phase. The job of these pages is to prove to your users that you are better than any competing solution, including the solution of simply doing nothing. You'll see keywords like best, top, versus comparison, review, alternatives, options, solutions, or how to choose. These people are in research mode, but they're researching with the intent to buy. For Surfer, examples would be Surfer versus ChatGPT, someone literally comparing two specific solutions, or top SEO platforms, someone who knows they need an SEO platform and wants to see their options. I love MoFu content because it's specific enough to convert well, but broad enough to capture significant search volume, making it really easy to show stakeholders attribution to SEO. But that's a topic for another video. Plus, when someone's searching this specifically, they're usually pretty serious about finding a solution. Then at the very bottom of the funnel, we have what I call your money pages. And I mean that literally. These pages have one job and one job only. Close the deal. These are your solutions pages, your individual features pages, pages for specific industries you serve, and of course, your homepage. 
The content here targets commercially minded search terms or mentions of specific features. People hitting these pages are often ready to buy. They just need that final bit of information or reassurance. For Surfer, bottom of funnel examples include Surfer SEO pricing. I mean, can't get more buying intent than someone literally looking up your prices. Individual features pages like the dedicated pages for content editor or topical map and our buyer persona pages like Surfer for agencies or Surfer for AI strategists. These pages answer the nitty gritty questions. How much does it cost? What exactly do I get? Will it work for me in my specific situation? Can it integrate with my existing tools? And a quick side note, it's not always possible to like cleanly separate MoFu and BoFu pages and that's okay. For example, on Surfer's content editor page, you can clearly see MoFu persuasive elements mixed in with BoFu calls to action. This is good and normal. You should expect some blend between these funnel stages in real world examples. And most home pages, if they're good, have top of funnel elements, middle of funnel elements, and bottom of funnel elements. So don't get too dogmatic about separating these things into different categories. Now, in the pre chat GPT era of SEO, you could get away with having two, maybe three of these money pages and a couple of middle of funnel pages, but the majority of your time and effort was spent creating search optimized content for top of funnel keywords. Why? Because this is what actually drove traffic, attracted backlinks and built authority. I call this the classic SEO snowball method. And if you were learning SEO when I was in the early 2010s, this is very familiar to you. You start small at the top of the mountain with these easy to rank for informational keywords. As your authority and traffic grow, you pick up momentum, you get bigger, you get more powerful. And eventually, like a snowball rolling down a mountain and growing in size, you become big enough to rank for these more competitive terms. Maybe you'd start with what are seed keywords, you'd build some authority and then go after keyword research tools, and then you'd build more authority and eventually compete for best SEO platform. It's a great strategy that still works for new sites looking to quickly build authority with traditional SEO. But then, ChatGPT happened, and AI searches became more about brand mentions than raw traffic. And while top of funnel keywords are still great at driving traffic, they rarely trigger brand mentions in AI search. Check this out. When I ask ChatGPT to tell me about keyword targeting, it gives me a solid educational answer, but with zero brand mentions. Compare that to if I ask it a middle of funnel query like what are the top on page optimization platforms for SEO and boom, there's an explicit brand mention and that's what we're after. Remember earlier when I said pre chat GPT days, you'd have like one solutions page, maybe a features page, maybe a couple industries pages as your money pages. Well, go look at a few brands performing well in search today and you'll see they have roughly five to six times as many money pages on average. And this is definitely no accident and is oftentimes directly responsible for these brands showing up in AI search. So if you're not seeing good visibility in AI search, and this is the one thing I'd want you to take away from this video, my first directive would be to take a long, hard look at your money pages. See, people are far more conversational with ChatGPT than they are with Google. They're asking complete questions and having full on dialogue with context and nuance. Instead of typing tools for content optimization into Google, Someone's far more likely to ask ChatGPT, as an agency owner, what are some AI powered tools I can fold into my workflow to quickly produce high quality search optimized content for my clients? And if your money pages don't comprehensively answer these detailed specific questions, you're setting yourself up for failure. This is why I tell my clients and teach online that instead of starting with easy informational content at the top layer and then building our way down to the money pages, we need to start with a lot of rock solid, comprehensive money pages and then expand outward. We need to make sure our core commercial content is so detailed, so complete, so explicitly clear about our capabilities that AI systems can't help but mention us when relevant questions come up. Let's take a look at one of my former SEO clients, Transcend, that happens to be doing this exceedingly well. And I do not take credit for this. They were doing this well before we started working together. Transcend is a privacy infrastructure platform that helps companies automate data governance and comply with privacy regulations. You can see just from their menu how many money pages they have. They have money pages for each specific feature of their product. So, oh yeah, one features page? Yeah, that's not going to cut it anymore. You need a page for each feature of your product.
as well as integrations and security. But if you hover over their solutions dropdown, you'll see they have money pages for each use case, each company type, and even the privacy regulations most relevant to their customers. By my count, that's 35 money pages. And you might be saying, wow, that's a lot. And my answer is yes, yes it is. And that's what's best for users, for classic SEO, and best for AI search. Here's what I mean. When I ask ChatGPT, I'm a B2B SaaS and I need a privacy management platform that will help me comply with the Colorado Privacy Act. What are my options? Sure enough, Transcend makes the mid-market shortlist. And what would you know? The large language model is citing this very money page as a source for its answer. And not only are these great for AI search, but they also rank organically in classic search, really allowing you to attack both fronts with one tactic. Plus, they're just great for users, which isn't that what we're after at the end of the day? So what exactly should you include on these money pages? Well, here's your checklist. And remember, you want to blend both middle of funnel persuasion elements and bottom of funnel conversion elements on each page. So some potential middle of funnel persuasion elements include clear benefit driven headlines that speak to the specific pain point, comparison sections showing how you stack up against alternatives, be honest here, social proof specific to that feature or use case like testimonials, case studies, logos, ROI calculators or value demonstrations, who is this for and who this isn't for sections, which are really cool. I like those a lot. They help visitors self-qualify and educational content that builds trust while positioning your solution as the best. Bottom of funnel conversion elements you can use include detailed feature specifications and capabilities, pricing information or clear calls to action to pricing, integration details and technical requirements, FAQ sections addressing specific concerns about that feature, multiple prominent calls to action throughout the page, free trial or demo options, and guarantees or risk reversal elements. The key is making each page comprehensive enough that someone could make a buying decision without needing to visit another page. Each money page should be like a mini sales presentation for that specific aspect of your product. Now, creating 30 plus comprehensive money pages who is a lot, a lot of work. And it's a full team effort from marketing leads to graphic designers to content writers. But this is where as an SEO surfer becomes your secret weapon. Surfers write with AI templates are specifically designed for creating different types of money pages. You're not starting from scratch. You're starting with proven structures that you can then edit to add your brand's unique voice and tone. For example, if you're creating comparison pages for all your competitors, there's a comparison template that's ideal for those, you know, your brand versus competitor pages. It automatically structures the content to be search optimized while maintaining the comparison format that both users and AI systems expect. When it comes to feature specific landing pages, there's both a landing page long template for comprehensive fact rich copy and a landing page short template for more concise pages focused on quick conversions. And if your business has unique needs, you can create custom templates that define your own content structure. This ensures every money page follows the same format and maintains consistency across your entire site. The beauty is that these templates use an advanced pipeline that combines SERP competitor data with deep research, making the content more comprehensive than any single competitor. Plus, it just saves you an insane amount of time. Once you've built out your foundation of money pages, Surfer's topical map visualizes your entire content ecosystem. It shows you exactly where you have coverage and more importantly, where the gaps are. You can see at a glance which topics you've covered well, which competitors are dominating certain areas, and most importantly, where you need to fill in the blanks to create that complete web of interconnected content. This is what signals to AI that you are the definitive source in your space. Surfer literally maps out the entire path from where you are now to complete topical domination, helping you create the right content in the right order to maximize both traditional SEO and AI visibility. So. Why does this bottom up funnel approach work so well? Let me break this down. First, you're establishing a firm foundation of your site's most important pages, the pages that make you money. Every visitor who lands on one of these pages is a potential customer and getting exactly the information they need to make a buying decision. Second, 
you're satisfying the kinds of AI searches that actually trigger brand mentions, which remember, that's what we're after here. By having comprehensive money pages for every aspect of your business, you become unavoidable in AI responses about your space. Third, when you eventually expand into top of funnel content, you have strong, relevant pages to link to. Every educational blog post can naturally link to multiple money pages, passing authority and guiding readers deeper into your funnel. And here is the compound effect. These pages improve conversion rates because visitors find exactly what they're looking for. They reduce your sales cycle because prospects can self-educate on every aspect of your product. They build trust by demonstrating deep expertise and they often rank for less competitive, high intent long tail keywords in traditional search. The bottom line is this, if you're not happy with your AI search visibility, take a trip down to the bottom of the funnel and really examine those often neglected money pages. They very well may be holding you back from getting the brand visibility you deserve. Subscribe to the Surfer Academy YouTube channel for more practical tips like this and please like this video as it helps get it out to the folks who need it most. And if you want to learn even more about driving traffic, leads, and sales to your website in the age of AI search, check out this video next. Thanks for watching and happy ranking.